All right. I would like to talk to you about advanced aerodynamics based on non-divergent fractal fluids models, which means uh, new models based on fractals and um, not on voxel grid based on uh, Navier Stokes equations like they are um, done now. Next slide, please. So even with um, supercomputer render power, it, uh, the, the more, most common um, questions are not um, understood properly, uh, which is the, um, with this, this understanding of lift. So there's, there are three um, competing um, theories where, where you can explain lift. Um, which the most um, popular one is Bernoulli, uh, where, where it say the, the faster air creates a lower pressure over the top of the wing and then by this um, lifts the wing up. And the more modern way is um, Newton. Um, some people um, since 10 years uh, um, argument about the impulse change and the downwash of air. And um, also modern discussion is uh, the Martin William Kutta condition which adds a rotation um, motion over um, a wing which deflects the air downwards. Next slide, please. Um, let's start with the um, most popular idea of Bernoulli, Bernoulli um, um, you, you often um, argument that two particles, um, one is um, passing the wing below and the upper passing up above the wing, um, have to meet again at the end of the wing. And so, it's, so by this, um, the upper particle has to um, pace up and um, there's no mechanical reason why should they, they dance together at the end of the wing. Um, so this is not very a proper explanation and it's also a bit old fashioned. Next slide, please. This um, idea is based on the research of Bernoulli of uh, pressure tubes where there is a, a small cross section in between and uh, therefore the remaining the um, mass continuum flow, um, the speed has to go up and by that acceleration it's uh, recorded that, uh, that the, 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 measure, the measurement uh, shows a uh, lower of static pressure. And so, um, but next slide, please. It often comes from uh, understanding of mechanics, like um, when there is a mass on a ramp uh, exposed to a um, um, gravity field, and um, the potential high um, means the potential force, where when the ramp decreases, um, the um, potential energy goes uh, converted into speed. And, um, but this only works if you have an external field um, happening. Um, next slide, please. Um, if uh, this also um, create, uh, creates spontaneous motion in a, a pressure tube, uh, you would also can say that, that the tale of um, Münchhausen would be true, that uh, it can happen spontaneous motion out of nothing, and uh, it would be actually a violation against the Newton's action and reaction uh, principle. Next slide, please. How um, can we... Um, uh, make an evidence of that, that is um, wrong understanding. Um, next slide, please. Um, to um, matter won't change to second law of Newton, um, its direction if there is not an additional force um, applied, so um, that um, matter streams inside the measuring tube, you have to apply additional force um, to deflect the, the, um, the pressure in this direction. And um, therefore, you have to withdraw um, pressure uh, force, and this is uh, recorded then as a pressure drop. Next slide, please. So also, you can um, convert the centripetal equation into um, um, the sorry Bernoulli equation into the centripetal equation very easily, which can show that there um, is uh, the centripetal forces uh, acting in uh, this measurement. So actually, it can say that what I measure is not real. Um, Next slide, please. It also can be argumented by, by momentum conservation, where um, we say on the left side, um, uh, the forces can only um, um, act in a 90 degree angle, and by this, um, by this in an inelastic push, there has been uh, energy released, and which goes into turbulence. Uh, right side shows a, another example of a static, a static condition, where you can see that the forces can apply equally, and so there, uh, the forces are, remain static uh, in the measurement. Next slide, please. And even natural researches uh, on streams show that uh, the, the pressure level is, um, is uh, highly uh, relative to um, 
uh, to the to the location um, of the of the in the stream. So um, due inertial movement of mass, um, you don't have equal uh, pressure levels and only there where the, the inertial mass allows it to. Next slide, please. So conclusion, we can say that Bernoulli found the direct correlation between speed and measurement, but this does not describe the true fluid mechanics. Next slide, please. Um, according to um, hydraulic law, you can say that there has, been, has to be uh, happen um, an equal acceleration force, otherwise you would um, compensate forces, and so um, the, the exceeding um, force um, force uh, causes the acceleration and that thereby the, the diameter of the of the ideal um, ideal flow body um, uh, shapes um, hyperbolically and also decreases in uh, by, by by time and speed and and so you have get an, an ideal flow fluid body inside the, um, the stream. And this, um, to, to maintain static, the, uh, the outer parts of the stream are um, braced by, by turbulent um, um, boundary layer and shearing um, motion. Next slide, please. And uh, when, when you are now look at the, the pressure drop, uh, you will recognize that there has been a lack of energy because uh, the potential um, um, pressure has decreased after the passing of the cross section. And um, there, thereby, um, there must be an explanation why, where the, the remaining energy uh, went to because the speed is at the same level than before passing the cross section. It can be explained very easily that um, the, the, the kinetic energy is trapped inside the vortices where the speed um, remains the same. But uh, in global, the, um, the, the, the traveling of the whole, whole stream is, is, um, is, um, has the old speed. So um, next slide, please. Um, you can say that this is a um, classic um, hydrodynamic uh, resistor. Next slide, please. And um, to understand the statics inside the stream, you can say that the, there is a trunk in the middle, which is the main stream, the, the ideal um, form of, um, of the hyperbolic shape, where there are um, fractal branches um, split off and brace the, and the other statics and um, um, compensate the, the um, inequality of forces um, to remain a mechanical system. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, nature so shows us uh, many, exam many examples like cloud motion and stuff like that where these um, tree-like um, architecture or force, um, forces are applied, unlike uh, how it's explained in Bernoulli. Next slide, please. And the idea is, uh, for instance, uh, enhancing the 3D um, um, mandel bulbar, which is able to create 3D fractals, um, because normally the fractals are 2D, and uh, into 4D fractals, where you can uh, emerge um, motion in time and space. And um, next slide, please. Um, so this, this algorithm would look for instable moment in the liquid, where there is um, external uh, information amplified into the matter and tells whether the, the the matter is collapsing into the next stable moment. Compared to never strokes, um, which is uh, based on grids um, and just looks for uh, the divergent motion between the, the voxels, and uh, by that um, applying um, a different equation, which is not very accurate because um, uh, because of self-similar features of fractals, um, you never hit the true shape. Uh, next slide, please. Um, you, so we can say that um, even ideas of um, such people like Rupert Sheldrake, um, the morphogenic field can all be applied in mathematical evidence, where you can say that the virtual information is in amplified in matter, and so you can say that matter is actually an amplifier of um, virtual information, which is displayed in instable moment of fluid, for instance. And it also explains emergent information, which, uh, like, Sand dunes where, where there's um, features. Yeah, okay, next slide, please. So how uh, lift is created then? Next slide, please. Um, you can say that um, it's a combination of new, uh, Newton and vacuum force. Next slide, please. Where um, the inertial mass travels over a convex surface, where normally uh, it would change a direction um, and uh, so vacuum spreading unless there is um, pressure inside the, the air and uh, this, um, th this pressure potential gets withdrawn and uh, deflects the air back onto the surface. Next slide, please. So the air follows in a, in a certain delay 
Well, in between there is a little um, pressure bubble because it, because the air is too inert, uh, it cannot turn into the bubble and collapse it uh, unless the, the angle is small enough. But if the angle increases, uh, the air is able to um, travel along um, big enough uh, circles to uh, travel inside the pressure bubble and make it collapse by that way, and um, the, um, gets the, the, the pressure gets detached by by vortices. Next slide, please. Um, also, nature um, shows uh, th this um, on, on, on birds when they approach in a steep attack angle on landing maneuvers, for instance, where the feathers lift to um, inertial effects, but only to a certain distance when they reach the laminar um, stream. Next slide, please. So how we can apply this technically um, is like um, we have a um, uh, um, flexible surface of a wing with elements like feathers, which are get shaped into um, form uh, according to the pressure potential um, uh, applied at the certain situation. And so in e each situation, uh, the, the form is always getting an ideal shape. Also, when getting in star mode, the, the, um, the elements get ripped off and protecting the, the pressure bubbles uh, above the elements from, uh, from collapsing where the, the stream only can flow up below the, the elements. Next slide, please. I created a nice um, movie which explains in more deeper level of the um, aerodynamic behavior on on airplanes, and um, and also yeah shows nice um, uh, high speed anal analysis and uh, yeah here you can see uh, quite nice um, uh, how the elements get get. Um, pulled into the stream to a certain level until they reach the laminar um, area and, and so protect um, the, um, the collapsing of the um, low pressure bubbles. And um, yeah, okay, next slide, yeah. I've also publicated an um, uh, article which is going more deeply in f into physics and um, explaining it on c certain other effects. And um, also there's my YouTube user channel and uh, the Facebook page where I mostly um, update these, uh, these uh, projects. Um, can we get to the last slide again? Because there's still some time. Um, I, uh, to mention this is the first model which is not um, that perfect. Um, so, so this is version 1.0, and uh, I already got some conclusions about this. Um, this how to improve this uh, in a more deeper level because there are some material issues and also some vortex generation uh, issues which uh, have to be improved. Um, so, um, um, you have two minutes left. We could go watch the video if you like. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just um, pick maybe the first one, uh, if you can reach it very quickly. Okay, didn't estimate it that. Was uh, very much rushing through the um, issue and um, So it's um, I'm filmed with a GoPro camera, but uh, for this model it was a little bit too heavy, and um, so um, I only could get nice um, flights um, without the camera. Because, um, but but even with the camera, you get nice effects. Um, so this is the first um, without the elements, and you see you, 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 the, the, the plane gets into stall mode, and then the, the, the pressure drops, and then uh, it, it drops very very fast. And uh, now the, the same effect with um, with uh, the, the the elements, and you can see the behavior is very constant and and equal. And um, it's yet just with um, gliding flights, but but I'm um, working on uh, motor um, flights. And um, yeah, so this is explaining again a little bit how the the, um, uh, the, the mechanics work. Um, yeah, we have these um, with these elements which are. Uh, get shaped into by the stream. And um, when you have normal flight modes, they should be um, layered together. And, um, and then if the pressure increases, the, 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 the air moves them in shape uh, until they reach a critical. Okay. 30 seconds. 
We can make the uh, speed up a little bit the, the video for one minute. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah that's just more important to see in, in, in action. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. So you can see the, um, the elements are not entirely lifted off, but just in a certain level when they reach the laminar um, border of, of the stream. And um, I have the other videos is more, I'm going more into detail. This is the first video, then the other one is having longer flights and uh, more precise analysis of this um, flight model. And so. we're at time, I didn't get a chance to ding your 10 seconds, so we're good. So yep, that's it, you good?